Hey, what's up everybody? This is Milos and in this video I want to show you how the export products module works in PrestaShop. As you can see, it is already installed in my demo store. This means that this module already created a special section under catalog section where you can export your products. Before I will explain the configuration and how to configure the module, it is necessary to say something about export. Okay, so this module creates a CSV library that is ready to import with default PrestaShop CSV import tool. And it is a really great feature in PrestaShop because it makes life easier. With CSV import, you can easily import the products, import uh, customers, features, and other stuff. And before you will import the CSV file, you can open it, for example, in Excel software from Microsoft, where you can pre process the dataset and then you can use it in this default feature. Okay, now I will open export product section and explain some configuration things. This is my management page of the model and here you define all options and generate the files. First option defines what you want to export. You can export products or combinations. I selected products. In second option, you can define what language will be used in exported file. Next option, delimiter, is a very important option in export process. Delimiter is a special character that separates the information about products. So each product has price, name, description, and delimiter separates these informations. By default, the limiter is set to semicolon. It is because it is frequently used by software to manage CSV files. Moreover, it is also a default delimiter in PrestaShop CSV import tool. I suggest to use the limiter as a semicolon because if you will use some different character, it might distort the CSV file and file will be completely unreadable. So leave it as the limiter and everything should be fine with your exported products or combination file. Next option is a products availability. You can define what product model will export. You can export only active products or all products. Second option allows to select a manufacturer. Module will export products from selected manufacturer then. And option to define supplier behaves the same as product manufacturer. You can also select category. Module will export product associated with definite categories then. And option delete existing images is an option to turn on in CSV file option to remove the existing images. It's for PrestaShop CSV import tool. Mm, you can just remove the product images while the file will be imported with this default tool. Next option, include link to product, is an option great for other websites, for example, Facebook, where you have to Mm, import products with an URL to product page and the last option pre price with tax included or excluded allows to define what kind of price will be included to CSV file 
Okay, so I already explained the configuration page of the module. Now it's time to export the products and show you how CSV file behaves in, for example, Excel and in mm, CSV import tool in PrestaShop. File will be automatically downloaded and if you will open it, you will open it for example in Excel where you can see that file is properly formatted when I use delimiter as a semicolon. Now let's back to the configuration page and I will show you how file behaves if you will set delimiter as a comma for example. File will be distorted and I want to show you how it looks like. Ok, so let's open the file and you can see this totally messed, it is completely unreadable. Even if I will change the separator character to comma in settings of the, of the file. Ok, ok, and you can see it is completely messed too. I strongly suggest to use semicolon as a separator to avoid confusion with with file structure. Okay, now I will change it to semicolon. I will export products again, uh, and I will use it in a CSV import tool in PrestaShop. Firstly, I have to upload the file. Uh, upload file. I will select it. OK. Now I will go to the next step and as you can see file is properly formatted. It doesn't have any mess. So I strongly recommend to use semicolon as a separator. OK. OK, everything is all, is all right with this file. So if you've got some questions related to this module, um, feel free to comment this video or send me support request. Bye. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.